I'm standing inside a house foundation being built and a foundation is more than just concrete and dirt. So let's dig into the basics of building and inspecting foundations and we'll refer to chapter four of the International Residential Code, the IRC, and the International Home Inspection Standards of Practice. And we'll translate all that technical stuff into plain talk. In the next several minutes, we'll break down the building code, the 2024 IRC sections R401 through R408, and learn how building code can be applied when building and inspecting homes. Think of the foundation as the base upon which everything else of the house rests, but it's not as simple as pouring concrete and calling it a day. Chapter four of the building code, the IRC, lays out the rules for building these critical structures, ensuring that they stand strong and perform as intended. And the International Home Inspection Standards of Practice, well, that requires the home inspector to check the foundation, the basement, the crawl space, the structural components, and report upon any observed indications of foundation movement or settlement and active water penetration. So let's begin with the 2024 IRC section 401, the big picture of foundation types. It's important to understand that choosing the right foundation is not a one size fits all situation. I'm in a crawl space and that's what the owner chose to build. The selection of which foundation to build according to code depends on a variety of other factors, including the type of soil, the slope of the lot, even local climate. This means every house is unique and what works for the neighbor might not work for here. Now, the soil under the house itself plays a crucial role. Different soils behave differently. Some dirt holds water, some drain really well, some expand and contract, some heave and settle. An inspector or contractor can assess these soil conditions to ensure the foundation is properly designed. And all of that is explained in the building code, section 401. So now let's move to section 402 to 404. And this is the nitty gritty of building and inspecting foundations. The IRC lists the acceptable foundation materials, such as wood, concrete, masonry, and outlines how these materials should be used specifically. R402, R403, and R404 cover material requirements, footings, and foundation wall construction, ensuring that there are clear rules to follow. The code is all about details, requirements, and provisions, especially when it comes to footings. Footings can be thought as the feet of a house foundation. They're designed to spread the weight of the house across the ground on which it stands. So proper sizing and placing of the footings is crucial for stability. It can't be too small. It can be oversized, but the footing can't be undersized. Foundation walls like this crawl space wall rest on top of the footings. And they can be made of concrete, masonry, wood, or insulated forms. And they must be strong and resist moisture intrusion and prevent structural issues. And that's all covered in the code sections R402 to R404. So let's talk about keeping this foundation dry and healthy by resisting moisture intrusion and managing water underground and above the surface. The Internachi Home Inspection Standards of Practice requires the inspector to report upon observed indications of active water penetration into the foundation and structure. And foundation drainage and water management is covered in the code IRC sections 405 to R408. Home inspectors can often determine the source of water problems in a house, and they're often caused by poor water management. Water is an enemy of foundations. It can destroy a house. So making proper foundation drainage is essential. Foundation drainage for a house includes ensuring correct grading on the outside of the house, functional gutters and downspouts, and effective drainage systems to keep water away from the house. Basements and crawl spaces need to stay dry to prevent moisture related problems. So waterproofing and water damp proofing are key. So why should we care about all this technical building code and home inspection standard stuff? Especially when we're just home inspectors. Where every house has a foundation, even a house on a concrete slab has a foundation. And a solid foundation is the cornerstone to a safe, stable and healthy home. Foundation problems can lead to costly repairs, 
and compromise the structural integrity of the entire house. So understanding foundation basics empowers homeowners to make informed decisions about their home's maintenance and potential repairs. That's why every home should be inspected by an InterNACHI certified home inspector. Home inspectors educate homeowners, home buyers, renters, and home builders and contractors on how a home is to be built and maintained so that our homes are safe, functional, and healthy. And here's the bottom line. Whether you're inspecting, building, renting, or owning a home, knowledge of foundation systems is really important to you, to all of us. By understanding the building principles outlined in the building code and having the InterNACHI Home Inspection Standards of Practice as a guide, home inspectors can help ensure that our homes stand strong for years to come. For more information about building and inspecting homes, including foundations, visit the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors at natchi.org.